scientist finds a nest of hungry beasts living under his skin. I look into the microscope, and there are these funny little worms crawling around. Six months after chimpanzee expert Geza Teleki returns home from Africa, his arm starts to itch unbearably. The only thing I can concentrate on is the itching on my arm because it's beginning to drive me a bit crazy. Dr. Martin Wolf is an expert in tropical medicine at the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. When he came into my office, I immediately recognized that he had a swollen hand, arm, and upper arm. He also complained of some itching and rash. He tells me to follow him into the next room, which is a laboratory. Before I knew what was going on, he took a sample of skin I, with a little device that took a snip out of the surface, and he stuck it under the microscope. I look into the microscope, and uh, this confirmed my suspicion. He looks at me and says, I think I know what you have. I think Geza was quite surprised that a diagnosis could be made just on observation. Dr. Wolf invites Geza to take a look for himself. I look into the microscope, and there are these funny little worms crawling around. And he says, well, you've got river blindness. River blindness, or onchocerciasis, is caused by the larvae of the onchocerca volvulus worm. The parasitic worms live in the mouth parts of black flies that are common in Africa. When an infected fly bites a human, the parasite enters the body through the bite wound. There, the worms reproduce, generating over a thousand larvae a day. For Geza, the news is devastating. At this point, I'm not sure what's coming down the road. I became extremely worried I won't be able to continue the work. The main danger of having river blindness is, in fact, that you go blind. Monsters inside me. Only on Animal Planet.